it's not necessary uh, uh, what i say the planet has to be the way the manner of death must be uh, be linked to the dasa not necessary in this chart it is quite clear because he died during his rahu dasa, uh, dasa and mercury antar dasa both the dispostas are weak and planets are weak it will be there but if there's an affliction in eighth house maybe the the, the dasa lord may not show afflicted in the other sense it will show affliction in d1 it will show affliction d9 the mode of death is alone seen in god's sense okay okay sir. this is my inference because i saw so what is said that dasas were antar dasas not afflicted in those sense but the, the the mode of death was very clear in god's sense okay okay i think uh, i have many 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 charts but all this negative topic so uh, and i wanted to keep some for the class marriage finishing of marriage finishing of children finishing of, many many more are there in those some so choose a list of what is actually this opens up so what is how every aspect of life ends i, I can open up in thing i will will go in class i will tell you this is just it about death bad death then health issues when anybody is having too many planets 6 8 it is going to be a chronic serious arthritis what is dying muscular dystrophy cancer related all the cancers chronic diabetic or say kidney related problem you will see it uh, is it afflicted in d1 d, uh, d3 d4 or is afflicted till navamsa or is afflicted till dwadasa samsa there you will know the severity of a health issue the chronicity of a health issue does it stop in navamsa or is it continue till dwadasa samsa if it stops in dwadasa samsa it does not going to kill you but if it continues to dwadasa samsa it will kill you but we will see we will have a health topic we have suicide topic we have bad death topic we have many many interesting topic all that we will be seeing completely the full usage of dwadasa samsa in every aspect of life we will see this is just a glimpse into just to show dwadasa samsa is just not seen for simply say dna the inheritance of father related and confusion you are not missing the most important aspect uh, what i say to club navamsa and dasamsa seen together you are, you are missing something always look to, look into both this horoscopes navamsa and to know the severity of an affliction when the chart is is it afflicted in both navamsa and dasamsa the chart is totally destroyed but if it is afflicted in navamsa but not in dasamsa same thing the yoga is also a yoga must be there till the last it must serve your purpose means it must be there till the duos will it end in duos or widowhood It is more seen in uh, widowhood is, is seen in dwadasa samsa rather than just navamsa also. The seventh lord goes to the eighth house in dwadasa samsa. It is a widowhood. Eighth from shukra in dwadasa samsa means totally different thing. So this is a very 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 important aspect which which has been neglected as totally misunderstood or it's kept a secret because this is, this opens up a new total perspective and dimension to your prediction. So uh, the Dwadasamsa is very without Dwadasamsa you run to D sixty you know again it is some gross misunderstanding only after you have understood D sixty prop D twelve properly can you move because D sixty is the higher octave see the D twelve is the uh, uh, is, is everything about the twelfth house that's why it's called about moksha mm-hmm. it, when a house is divided into twelve signs it is about the twelfth house D sixty six times more so without understanding the D twelve if you try to understand d60 it will be confusing you need to relate with uh, d12 and d60 there's some comparative analysis being done so i can have a separate class d12 and d60 so, so much of matter information is there first you must understand d60 i have just given you how people die but i have to t- teach you this with 200 horoscope about every aspect of life from raja yoga to yoga to marriage to children to progeny uh, to every other aspect till you can use it for prasna you can use it for muhurta you can use it for uh, for many 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 aspects how important is because what i say uh, d12 is in one rasi all the 12 signs are there i can't start with something in La- uh, lagna with uh, uh, let's say mesha lagna i've started something but the dwada samsa is is copier is is it a good lagna i've started something i have to see the dot samsa uh, in muhurta and see it is not it is in 159 or a kendra to it not in 6812 from the rashi chart which i see we see the navam star but we, should, we most important we'll have to see the dwada samsa or a muhurta 